Well, Brock is a uh, second or third wife. I don't know which one is. Uh, had a blood transfusion and that didn't work. They're taking her to the big hospital. So I guess Brock owns a motorcycle but don't know how to drive it. So he had a driver come pick him up and there's two of them on a little motorbike heading 20, 20 miles or so on that little thing. So good luck there. We might both be in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, it'd be me both. This is going to be our uh, first full day in Maasai land after all kinds of things. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. Colder than I'm used to in a while, but uh, yeah, all kinds of things we're after. So I thought that was aluminum, but no, nope, everybody's got a tablecloth on. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Just go, just go. 
guard the back there. Just guard the back there. Facing you is behind the tree, and you just see if it's him. You see him? Just to the left of the bush. But he's facing you. He's not broadside. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. I heard it? Certainly sounded like it. Good shooting, man. It was well. There was some shit, and I took his long neck, and I could see where his yeah. shoulder started, and I just put it in there. And that's a dicey shot, but that's off. that's what the experience brings to the table. Make it work. Must be yours, not mine. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's all all together. Well, he's ahead of ourselves, but I think he's looking good. Why do they always have to be looking at me or quarter away? <laughs> Murphy's law. Well, with that <clears throat> angle. That's, I had to hit yeah. him good, or it wouldn't have made no, no noise. For sure, no, no, it sounds very solid, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. 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 <laughs> look at those tips coming over and stuff, oh, you yeah. know. Yeah, look at that nose. Huh? Yeah. Let me get this thing off, I'm rolling. <laughs> That's going to be a full mount there. Oh, yeah. I would say nothing less. Absolutely. These great little animals, man. Look at that. Yeah, and again, look at that neck. Couldn't be any better with the, you know. Oh, uh, that's where it come out. It's still there. You know, again, lone male. Could not uh, <coughs> serve any better conservation purpose. No, and he's beautiful. I'm really proud of him. Job all done. Great stalk. Nice little hunt. Alright, uh, well we uh, drove through a bunch of promising looking country and uh, they spotted this one and I could see it a couple hundred yards away and it, well, it was farther than that to begin with and we watched it for the longest time because it was aware then it started feeding and moving off so we stalked and uh, 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 Yako saw it laying down and by the time I realized it, it hopped up and started running we started running and behind a bush it made the fatal mistake of uh taking a look back and uh, we put a good one into him but he's an old warrior uh, the one to take and beautiful animal and uh as you can see by the neck and in the nose too that he's uh related to the giraffe and uh so no beautiful animal it was high on my list
It's a coax heart of beast we're going to check out here just outside the camp. Saw some hartebeest this afternoon and another lesser kudu. Got a nice genera this morning. Been a good day. I'll leave it to the chief. Well, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Good stuff. Good morning. Uh, this is day two of the hunt. I uh, got a real nice genera yesterday. We're going uh, out hardtail and hopefully a lesser kudu. Maybe a hartebeest. Uh, maybe a fringe eared oryx, maybe nothing. We'll see. We'll give her hell and uh, that. And it's a little different morning day, a little cloudy, and but not as cold. So we're ready to go as soon as uh, Master Swahili gets here. And uh, <laughs> oh, speak of the devil! Look at there. <laughs> See if we can uh, get a little cut it down in the creek here. I mean, the brush came up, well, yeah, that's because of this whole corner. I can practically say, basically this line, that's all of this washed out. Mm -hmm.
they dig down to water and then they have to bucket it out to feed their cattle. We're semi walking along this river bank looking for lesser kudu and whatever and uh, yeah it's a hard existence there what they got. Yeah, so a lot of hard work going into digging these holes and um, so these different bomas and the temporary bomas out here where the guy is moving with the cattle during the dry season so when they uh, come down here to dig up for water, they, everybody digs his own hole and do his own work and you know works his own water hole until it dries up and then they move on to the next one further downstream. You've got a friend here behind you Greg, she like, I think she likes your ass. <laughs> Actually, he, <laughs> young one. <laughs> so what they do now is this guy is waiting with his herd to go in so they don't get all mixed up in there. So as soon as the other cattle, cattle that's busy drinking there right now is done and moved out, then uh, this little young guy and the Maasai, they call them at this age, they call them Lyonis. Um, so they become cattle herders and um, he'll bring in the cattle then and have his cattle water. I got excited once, the one butterfly, I thought it was horn tips going through the brush. He was like, no, it's a butterfly. You could have taken a shot if you wished. You I should have. That would liven things up a little bit. <laughs> you had a chance in the back. No, uh, didn't work out because a whole bunch of cattle and cattle herders down there. So things are probably farther away from the water. So but I got some good exercise. About four miles we walked and I know at one point it was 103 degrees Fahrenheit. And it might not have been quite as hot down where I was, but. Is that lunch? Yeah, under this tree we found this lost little calf. I think we're going to deliver it to the herd up there and, and uh, do a cute little shit. <laughs> so, yeah, he's looking around down there.
Sisi wa zamu haribisti. Uh-huh. Lafu naenda kuangalia kama iko kubwa. Eh, uh, got to look maybe find a big one. Real big one. Okay. Lafu nyonya. Ambi nyonya. Nyonya. facing you the female is facing to the right eh Us a chance. You know, you're sure of us. <laughs> Damn it. My scopes got the shit on it. Well, I wouldn't have got it there. <laughs> well, you know, it was just not meant to be, I guess. You know, close but no cigar. two bulls but no joy no joy code no joy
Don't move. open area up here in front. Um, let's go back to the car and we'll circle around. Yeah, no, no. You do it, but I can do it. Well, you know, you in the middle? Yeah. Finally, have the president coming back. Yeah, yeah. I think he needs a sponsor for the new fucking seat. Jambo mana. Ah, salam mana. Good to have you back. Okay. How are you? 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 Orbolori yui na edenga kala rilimoni na egana geye na engala na sokor na denga menor hingu engala na sokor rembulo kuna jene simanjiro na nguli horegi nda kola la lege arano irungorore ahola lugora re ne ngwe senti mungishu edenga engala egana lende limoni na mega na na maninto ore ne mani ngwe si lugora re jangi ra geye ba glo soro ene ozuri sana no na jeupe lagini maji amekauka ogati omaseka maji anajia sana ashena lene karibuni sana. He was just explaining this is a salt pan and in in Maasai, um, in Swahili it's Magadi and in Maasai it's Ambuseli and you've heard also about the Ambuseli National Park. So um, you've got, it's called Ambuseli and you know, obviously in the rainy season the cattle comes here but Ila and in Oryx you find a lot of animals but it's dried up now so obviously a whole lot less um, movement and attraction here. Give it a shot and I get a grass goes out. And do and so do um Greg. Hear that noise? Yeah, you hear that noise. That's Let's it. go give that grind's hell. Okay, let's go. Who's this? Obama himself. <laughs> the president. He's a president of Masailand. <laughs> It's 
borderline is, you know, it's one of those questionable ones. In case, you know, within the last day you question yourself if you should have taken it or not, <laughs> whether you should have taken it or not. Well, you know your areas. Mm. This is the best one we've seen so far. I think um, we can afford ourselves a little bit more time and uh, we should find something that's just just 100% meet the minimum requirements. Okay. Yeah, this one is 99%. <laughs> I couldn't really tell a male amongst them. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Come here and hold still. <laughs> I think this is day five. And uh, it's looking like uh, kind of maybe a wet morning. A little rain, mist, and that. And we're going out to try to see if we can get something. <laughs> it's been a while, four days. And uh, Heart of Beast, Lesser Kudu, Oryx, something. We'll see if he's good luck or if we're going to have to kick him to the curb. But <laughs> what do you think about it? I think no. Kenya, Nair and Warwick, Nair, Olifagudu, Narani, Ado, Kia, Olifagudu. That's what I thought. Okay. 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 <laughs> Obviously with this brush, you know, just get covered up and you don't see me come around here, I'm standing right here. If only you'd have seen that curl, if his head had been right. I could have threw my gun at Eddie. <laughs>
tracks here that ran this way, so long gone into the brush. Seemingly at least another route. <laughs> I don't think we got enough. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm running low. Hello. I'm going to get the little guys first. Make sure. We're running out. See how many I got left. That's it. One. Two, three, four. Uh-oh. More of you than there are suckers. Come on. Yeah. You already go. Huh? That one's got one. Here, you want one too? That's all I got. Yes. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> now they spotted a good kudu that, as a matter of fact, when we got in there, we seen our tracks from where we tracked it before. 
he just give us the slip and it was a good stock we went slow and uh, just uh, as usual <laughs> Zippo <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Glad to have you back. Yeah. Okay. We saw a couple big ones yesterday, but normal. <laughs> eh? You go. No shoot. Uh, no. Today shoot. Close. Today shoot. Ye yesterday. Yeah. I got on the gun and it was gone. Oh, I'm sorry. Just that much <laughs> yeah, more. Much, you know. Yeah. Not even that much. That much. <laughs> uh -oh. So oh, I got four days left. <laughs> got a big list to try to get through. And that's dropping some things off. <laughs> Quite a few things. <laughs>
Well, we're, uh, we heard lions this morning, right after first light. But um, we're not far from the camp here and the guys had uh, heard a cow. Um, sounded like a cow getting caught in and then shortly after the, afterwards we, we heard the lions. So we came down this road now and uh, we found these three Maasai here. Um, they just arrived here just ahead of us and um, found their dead cow and uh, seems like uh, the lions had themselves a good feast. Yeah, this is uh, part of a lion kill, nothing goes to waste. Uh, Barack had just cut that off for his dinner and the rest of it's back there. Uh, lions ate real well, ate better than three quarters of the cow, so yeah. Cut, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Just relax. Go wait, wait. Go one on the right. Wait, 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 wait. You have a shot and one on the left. Good stuff. Come, come.
Yeah. Starting to turn colour now. Just a little bit of reflex. Not much. Mm -hmm. Has he got a pecker? I believe he does. Oh, I hit him right where I was aiming. Bigger, too. bigger than Barakas. Wow, well, yeah. I think but he's a little pouch Peter. <laughs> Fine job. Yeah, nice he's solid a animal. animal. Bye, boo. What is it? About time, huh? Yeah. <coughs> Very well done, sir. <laughs> Don't make so much noise. <laughs> well, I he was dead. It's been a it's been a long walk for the last six days up to this point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as you can see here, um, Greg, the rings are fully developed. You know, no white bark on the on the horns. Um, that's always very typical of Gamespock or Oryx and the younger bull. So, but also the body, you know, the neck, the rib cage, everything is deep and well developed, very masculine. And again, job well done. Well done. Thank you. We is think we both old very old one or are you yeah. middle? No, old? he's very, very nice. Yeah, no, I mean the size I've of this animal. Bigger fringes on the rears, you know. Yeah, this one's probably worn down for that matter. <laughs> it's just hair, so it just goes oh. off, you know. Yeah. No, this is um, this is a beautiful, beautiful specimen. Oh yeah. yeah. When I got you on the sticks, and then that female walked in, and she was onto us. Yeah. And he was standing broadside, you know. He walked out. I could confirm everything, you know, masculine-wise. And then um, she walked right in, and she just got us there in that opening, man. And fortunately, um, she didn't spook too too hard. So I'm surprised she didn't. She just kind of went off, and he yeah. went. And you made a noise, and he stopped. And yeah. Well, communication, communication, communication. <laughs> Greg, it's been a long haul the last few days. Yeah. <laughs> we've uh, we've had our work cut out. We talked a lot about it. Um, hunting pretty tough here this year in Maasai land. Extreme um, um, amount of rain that we had, extreme amount of rain in the raining season. Um, grass is tall, brush is thick, um, just hard to get into shots um, without being smelled, you know, or scented and, and uh, seeing the animals. But uh, yeah. And having to determine the sex. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the other part. From 150, 200 yards away. Right, uh, the thick, thick brush doesn't make that any easier as well. But, uh, well, as always, we're keeping the faith and a perfect opportunity presented itself this afternoon. And this is just what we're always hoping for when you're hunting, um, just uh, being out there and, uh, you know, right moment, right timing, right place. And it all came together this afternoon. Yeah, we uh, pulled up to a dry water hole uh, to eat lunch and there was a pack of wild dogs came pretty close to us, stuck around. I scared them off, walked over there. We had lunch, I woke everybody up, and uh, uh, we hadn't went a hundred, two hundred yards, and I think it was a lumen that spotted these out here. I didn't hold out a prayer because there was a female zeroed right in on us, twice actually. But as it worked out, they were just a little fidgety, and he moved off and stopped, and I was hoping like hell it was the right one, but <laughs> I was pretty sure. And it was, and uh, it was a good stock and everything. So.
I guess that uh, it started way earlier, but about four o'clock this morning, I heard lions raising hell all around, and uh, Yako thinks he's pissed off because the Maasai took the rest of the meat back from uh, one of his kills. And just now, just right behind here, he just let out a roar right here. He's right here, right now on this thick hillside. Hear him? Yeah, he's up there and he's pissed off. My cameraman ought to go up and get a little uh, close-up of him there. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's his fault. Uh. He took that meat off that cow. It wants it back. <laughs> you take it back up there and give it to him. Yeah, here, here, here it is. <laughs> and you say I'm sorry. <laughs> But I can take a minute. I'm 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 that was the official. <laughs> this is next to the last morning. Well, we might be able to go out for a morning hunt the day I leave to get a little something, but uh, we're going to give her hell today and see what we can get. What do you think there, Sunshine? Zengi, Shuto, today. Yes, I could. We, we need to go like this now. <laughs> Not just. <laughs> Get out of my candy. <laughs> <laughs>
To the right of the big tree. You can't get any more. You see this little dry stick that's hanging over the reverse L shape? Yeah. Just look look through it underneath it. At the back. Yeah. There it was, okay. Wait, it's in Paul in front of him. It's down. It's down? It seems like I see something kicking there. <coughs> Just walked into that open perfect space. The one we've been waiting for 10 days. You think I got him? I think you got him. We'll go check. We'll get excited and relieved <laughs> once we get there. But yeah, something went down, I think. Sound so, yeah. like a thump. Yeah. Did it? That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> well done. Patience paid off. And in God we trust. <laughs> well done. Great job. Great job. Great patience. Great accomplishment. Tell us how you feel about it. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy. This is the 63rd stock. All of them at least a half mile long. It's the little grey ghost. <laughs> Job well done, my man. Thank you. Now you see what I've been talking about and how small they are and how quickly they disappear in this thick brush. Well done. He's an old Grace. boy, too. And he's been around. Single. Thick bases. Well done, Greg. Well done. Excellent stuff. <clears throat> boy, I come close to missing that. Real close. I can point this wherever it's empty as a stone. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Finally. Well, Greg, we have uh, two more days to go, it's what, 33 days so far, something like that. Um, we spoke about it a lot. Lots of rain this last raining season, even in the Sulu. Out here in Maasai land as well, we are um, just dealing with brush, thick brush, it, you know, it's unheard of. So we were challenged. And, yeah. uh, and I'm you know. vertically challenged to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that, that um, I think goes for a lot of the crew as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, now, now you know, and I've been telling you that these animals, obviously, they're not high on the shoulder, and now you go to see one down on the ground, and you understand what I'm saying. Um, they just disappear in this brush once you get down on foot. We're obviously trying to to hunt them as ethically as we possibly can, and we had to stick to our guns. Um, temptation has been there, but we. Um, evaded temptation, and uh, I think it's something to be proud of. Job well done. I agree. Thanks a lot. Job well done, my friend. This is where we picked them up chasing around this last night. <laughs> I love it. 
Yes, this is the beverage cart. Barack has taken advantage of it. He's, I don't know if he's buying a motorcycle or pop. <laughs> Just reload. <clears throat> Just reload. We get him? Drop, you drop him with one shot. Is he down? He's still lying there, yeah. Well, 
<laughs> I'm watching them over from under drop over there. Jonah. That's Jonah. a double day. Hey. Whoa. Yeah. 300. Well, maybe 375. No. Thank you. These white bearded wildebeest, they, they normally, they're known for the big bosses, but find one of the spread like this. It's a lucky day, my man. Job well done, Greg. Great Thank shot. You. Great shot. Woo. Beautiful. Just look at that. Woo. Look at the boss. Yeah, absolutely. The there was another bull standing here that was older, but he didn't have the spread, you know. So just, and when I say older, it was just, you know, this is a very mature bull, perfect. Oh, yeah. There's nothing, I mean this is this is as good as it gets. It's just the other one was slightly older, but he didn't have the spread, so. Look at that spread. <laughs> <laughs> you want one? Thank you. You're welcome. Here you go. Well, Greg, things are starting to happen. Yes, they are. Well, we got onto these wildebeest. We came out here to. Um, northern part of the hunting area and um, looking for wildebeest and we saw some wildebeest earlier today but they were just outside of our area so we you know, didn't get a chance finally run into this group and uh, yeah they were just you know being lazy down here in the shade and this this bull got up you know and he just stood out and well he made a great shot you made it count yeah did we started out the day with a great lesser kudu about 7 30 this morning Drove about 50 miles over here to a lot more open country. Saw some great Eland, uh, Grants, and like he said, uh, I heard uh, these where we couldn't hunt. And uh, we pulled in here and got out and with a real short stalk, uh, put a good one into him. Went in and come right out perfect. And I didn't see him drop, so I'm watching the herd, watching for one wobbling, and everybody's grinning except me. <laughs> <laughs> well, good we had, job. We had to get you back on one. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> There they are. Right. Well, we do. Ah. Out. Get from the tent. Yeah, well, but with perfect broadside. Wait, take your time. Okay, reload, reload. Okay, on the shoulder. Reload. Wait, wait, wait. He just went behind that board. Yeah, I saw him. He's coming out. See the horns? Get my. Wait. Come with me, come with me. 
Okay, we have to do it for It only takes three with a 300. <laughs> Did you take the 300 again? Empty. <laughs> Is it the 300 again? Yeah. <laughs> with the Baraka, we have two pay taka taka. <laughs> Baraka is going to hate you. A three? You didn't bring enough beer, son. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hold ass. Well, it's done. I wouldn't say well. <laughs> he's down. He's he down, down, man. He's down. Well, Greg, awesome day. Oh, geez. Number three for the day, and it just couldn't have been better. And they're all great animals. From a lesser kudu to a great uh, white-bearded uh, wildebeest to this fine uh, Grant's gazelle. Um, it's quite a day. Yes, quite yeah. a day. We've, we've been very particular on what we're looking for in terms of shape, and not so much the size, you know, we, as a... Uh, Conservation hunters, you know, like to take out the old males old. and um, yeah. this one, once uh, we spotted um, this guy, uh, there was just no doubt and uh, we've got our friendly Maasai helpers here. We had a whole crew, that's why we're sitting here with the Maasai Shukas. They lend us the Shukas to, to help us approach this uh, Grant's gazelle and it worked out well and got a great job done. Well, yeah, and uh, he was a problem animal. He's been eating all their beans. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so they're going to eat some of them. I donated a hind quarter to them and whatever they want from the inside. Yeah, I'm giving them to them. Here, this is for you. For you. Thank you. Conservation at work. We've got three beautiful animals and it's almost beer 30. We had a puncture coming through here, uh, taking the chief back to his village. And uh, hey, like I say, it's almost beer 30. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the last uh, full day of hunting here. We had a spectacular day yesterday. We shot a beautiful Grants, uh, a white-bearded wildebeest, 
and a lesser kudu, uh, all old animals, one that should be taken, and it was uh, a great day. Uh, we're just now going out to maybe get to heart a beast, and if we do, we might go up and see if we can uh, see a huge old eland we saw yesterday that I didn't want to hunt because we had a few animals I'd rather uh, chase, and uh, we'll see what happens today. Uh, uh, yeah. Hi, people. <laughs> <You're coming. laughs> and head hurts today. Yep. <laughs> Drink water. I'll have to use the 300 today. Yeah? Eh? I'll have to use the 300. Why? It don't kick as much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? Because <laughs> it goes pew pew. Pew pew pew. <laughs> ping. <laughs> ping. <laughs> ping. 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 <laughs> 375. Yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah. Down. <laughs> Down. <laughs> That's the important part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to go to the I'm to go to the Look at if I just do this. I can go driving. Trend. This is normally the work of deed, but I'm not using deed, so the only thing I can think of is chilies. Chilies. <laughs> I'm sure Martin must have wiped some chilies down here again. Uh, he's sure up to something. That's right, he's still got one coming for that, don't he? Yep. Yep. <laughs> he's gonna get it when he expects it most. He's actually gonna expect it least. He said, oh, time is up, you know, and then... Put on the nani nigi Where'd that come from, Waffle? Up with you. Yes, you eat the cognac, I took the you got you. I'm not sure they're going to help anything. No, I don't want to get mine too. No, kind of felt like snot, didn't it? Uh, I would say probably more hand sanitizer. I want to get the idea somebody thought it's a great idea to clean it with hand sanitizer. Because the hand sanitizer is kind of snotty. I think you spawned the <laughs> What happened to you? <laughs> you run into a sticky situation. <laughs> We're, uh, since we've got a little bit of time to play with, we're just going to go for a little stroll here and see if we can surprise our uh, favorite herd of hartebeest.
Seventy-five, man. <laughs> Rock up gun. <laughs> Beautiful. Whew. Beautiful. <laughs> Job accomplished. I almost Mission didn't put this, your shirt on <laughs> because uh, the day I had it on for, we didn't see nothing. It's better. That was a no cab knocker. But hey, no she cab come knocker. through. <laughs> Finally. Great stuff. Babu! That's a beautiful babu, ball. Babu, 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 babu. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good one. <laughs> I just take a breath. <laughs> just, just kind of uh, wiggled it in, man. <laughs> <coughs> When things come together, they come together. Ho, 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 ho. Sure glad we didn't shoot the camp one. That wasn't nothing like this. Yeah. Well, and he's not far off, but his steps are a bit shorter. Yeah, I don't think he had the mass either. Boy, for your animals in Africa, he's rough. You know, most of them are just smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Greg, um, we're getting close to the end of the hunt. Day and a half more to go. Um, last few days, you know, things have uh, come together, but it's a matter of, you know, priorities. And uh, yesterday we had a great day. Today uh, we were back in the Coke's Harder Beast, very unique species up here in Maasai land and many places hard to find. We are blessed to have quite a good population here. But um, they're very alert, very good eyesight, hard to get onto. But this morning things worked out well for us, and you made it count. Yep, uh, I made uh, Baraka's day. I used the 375, so it went bang instead of ping. <laughs> <laughs> That's and, important. Uh, it's a unique animal, uh, an old one, one that should be taken, and I'm proud of him. And uh, yeah, it was a good stock. I thought sure we'd get busted by them females, like's happened my whole life, but. Uh, <laughs> spotted Impala up here and um, some giraffe to beat. We don't have a lot of time so we're just going to cut to the chase and go straight in there and see if we can get a good glimpse of that male.
Now there's females in front of him. No, 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 no. I think so, I heard something down there. Great stuff, Greg. Beautiful. Big male, quick shooting. Job well done. Look at the mass in that sucker. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well done. That's what you look for. That was quick shooting, and uh, you made it count again. Hey, Ngueli. Yeah, it's my last uh, full day hunting here in Maasai land with game trackers of Africa in their area and uh, the whole crew's great, uh, great guys. Yako goes 110% for you, and uh, we were after Elon, but for the second time in about the last half hour, giraffes ruined the stock, but these guys thought they were hid, and uh, I wanted to shoot a little earlier, but he wouldn't let me. But uh, <laughs> no, great animal, old, you can see the mass on him, and uh, great job, guys. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is the last day I fly out tonight. We're just going to go out for a little stroll, see if maybe we see a big impal or something. Basically just uh, look the country over one last time and uh, I guess it's time to leave. I, I'm down to half a truck now and, uh, and uh, the whole gang's going to go and we're going to have a good time. So. Nope, it's bittersweet. I really want to get home, but I hate leaving here too. It's great people and great country, and Yako's doing well by the people and the game. Everything I shot was old, uh, you know, and uh, ready to be harvested. Didn't hurt the populations here, <laughs> hardly at all. <laughs> and uh, I spent a lot of money on conservation that'll go towards it, and I feel good about that. I heard the lions here at about 6 o'clock this morning. We were, uh, probably two, three hundred yards out of camp. But uh, they have been messing around camp. And um, one just lay down 20, 30 yards behind us, other one here. And uh, it's a big mile track here. We've known this lion for 10 years. Um, but nobody's been able to lay eyes on him. And uh, it'll be quite interesting to see what he looks like. Ah, lay right here in the road. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can. Uh, catch up with him. Just have some fun on the last day. <laughs> <laughs> the lions here about six o'clock down here this morning we saw the tracks in the spots in the road where they lay down um, in pretty close proximity to the camp right here um, pretty much 400 yards max um, but yeah we've had them right at the back of, of our tent so they're certainly not scared of humans so uh, that's always uh, leaves a lot a uh, lot of uh, food for thought lion spotter here I'm going down to give the uh, game scouts uh, and our driver a very good tip, but with Lumen, I'm only going to give them a five-dollar bill because I'm going to tell them the rest went for binocular rental, <laughs> and he's right there. So, Thomas, morning. Oh, you did a fine job, and uh, here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. Very good. You, yeah. you don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. You did a fine job. Now you, because of binocular rentals, that's all you get. You're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now let me get in this pocket. Okay. <laughs> I think there should be six right here. Uh, <laughs> let me make sure. 
There you go. And keep <laughs> that one too. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did a fine job. You love it, honey. Simba! 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 Kabooby! <laughs> well, this is uh, my last day at camp. I'm leaving. Uh, I'm all packed up, ready to go. I've had a great time with the Game Trackers of Africa. Uh, great staff, a uh, lot of animals. Brush is a little thick, but other than that, uh, we got along good and it's a good place to hunt and I'd do it again someday. Well, Greg, actually, uh, that beach. You gotta do that again. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> Excellent, Greg. Yeah, it's um, been awesome to have had you here. We've had a great safari, uh, 32, 33 days. Um, that in itself is, is quite a, a deal. A um, lot of work that goes into that. And uh, we've been blessed. We got some great trophies, great animals, and uh, uh, I think most important that uh, we've been able to contribute to conservation like uh, like us hunters normally do and in the best way we can and in living close to, to nature. It's been great to have you here and uh, we truly hope we can do it again. All right, we'll do her. Thank you, sir. We'll do her. That good enough?